Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, part 31. We're at part 31. Today we're going to be heading to Net to give him the information that we have discovered from the Shadow Pokemon Lab. <sighs> I feel like we're almost at the end of the game, or like, getting there, and I don't know how I feel about that. Because I feel like I have a lot more that I want to show off that isn't completed yet. But this game just goes so fast, and there's a ton of stuff to like, do in it. So I have to... I'll probably have to make a lot of bonus scene videos and figure out how that's all going to work. I'll probably have to spend a lot of time on the game by myself. But, um... Do I have any Pokemon ready to be purified other than Remoraid? I don't know. Either way, we're going to be heading back to the Under today. And I feel like... Oh yeah, right, never mind. I thought there was a passageway somewhere around here, but then I remembered that there isn't. It's just that, like, UFO that takes you upwards, and then you get the time flute. Okay, no, no. Well, that wouldn't let us in anyway, actually. If you try to battle us again, I will literally... Ha. Good. Kai. They should really fix that so she's not standing right there. To be quite honest with you. Okay, so now we will head to Net. Right. Net, Bit, and Meg. I like how they both have, like, two letters at the end of their name. That's actually clever. Or is this Bit? No, it's Net. Yeah, let's scope it out. I feel like some old school, like, Scooby-Doo show. Ooh, a list of Shadow Pokemon that have been made so far? That's really cool. It looks like they've wiped the data. No, why? Okay, so then what do I do now? Yay! Okay, so let's talk to Bit, then. Oh, okay. Realgum Tower. Great. Yeah, this is, like, getting closer and closer to the end of the game, and I'm not prepared for that right now. Oh, these two are together now. This can't be good. Cypher's Realgum Tower. Great. Okay, so, basically, we're gonna head to the construction lot, because it's not a construction lot anymore. It's Realgum Tower. Oh, no. Something bad is happening, because it's all zoomed in. Why is it all zoomed in? I don't like this. It wasn't zoomed in when we... before. It feels really zoomed in. Maybe it's just because I came from the under, and everything's, like, really zoomed out there. I still feel like even this is zoomed in, and it's upsetting me. It's unsettling. But oh well. Yeah, I don't even know how, like, many parts we're gonna have left in this project, and that scares me, because I don't know when the end of the game is, because... I don't, like, remember ever beating this game. I know I've never beaten it, but I think this is about the farthest I've gotten. Oh, wow, this looks a lot different. Let's talk to these guys. Hello, welcome to Realgum Tower. Today is our opening day. Great. We've been expecting you. Now, please go in. You've been expecting me? This can't be good. Um, <clears throat> so basically what you're going to want to do is, I, I remember what happens at this part, strangely enough. Oh, wow. Phew, ho, 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 you've kept me hanging around, Cyber. You ruined things in Pyrite for us, but you know, we're not about to lose over and over to you. This time I'll win, and I mean it this time. Let the music play. Oh, never mind that. We'll battle right away. <sighs> so... Mira B is back. I didn't remember that we had to beat Mira B again. That's for sure, but... Loudred and Ludicolo. Oh, so we got a Loudred. That makes him so much more threatening. Well, I'm gonna attack the Loudred first, because Ludicolo is just gonna use Rain Dance, and that helps Mantine. I think. It should. So, Psychic on Ludicolo, and Takedown, yeah! I like being level 48. I mean, you know, all of our Pokemon are like level 30, but... See? 
Oh, wait, I used it on Ludicolo. I'm an idiot. I just said I wasn't going to use it on Ludicolo, and then I used it on Ludicolo. That might have actually killed Loudred, too. Now I'm upset. No, see? See? I knew I should have used that on Loudred. Okay, well... I don't know what my mind was doing, because... I didn't want that to happen at all. Okay, Psychic on Loudred. And take down on Loudred. I hope this does more damage than it did to Ludicolo. Yeah, great. He'll probably just send out another Ludicolo. I wonder if Mirabi has another Shadow Pokemon. A Golduck. Wow, that was unexpected. You stepping up your game. Okay, well, I believe Golduck benefits from Rain Dance too, so we also want to take it out. Hid underwater. Okay, what I'm going to do now, actually... I'm going to um, use Psychic on Golduck, and I'm going to use a Hyper Potion on Espeon. Which reminds me, we need to buy more Hyper Potions. So when I go to heal and save after this battle, I'll go buy more Hyper Potions. Yay! What? You still have an HP left? That's not fair. Good thing I used the Hyper Potion. Dive on who? Wow. Stop. Alright, um... I'm going to use... Psybeam on Ludicolo, and Bubble Beam on Golduck. We're doing really, really well in this battle, to be honest with you. I'm really happy about it. I thought this was going to be a lot harder, but it's just like a normal battle. Except with, like, Pokemon that aren't Magnemite and Electrode. We know it's not very effective, but it's effective enough to get him to, like, not be alive. Or conscious. Armaldo. Oh, that's the Shadow Pokemon, is Armaldo. When di where did you get a Pokemon like Armaldo? You're not worthy of it. Oh, no, it's not the Shadow Pokemon. Okay. Twist, because I thought it was. Um, Shadow Rush, I guess. Because Armaldo is also part water type, if I remember correctly. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I hope this takes out the Armaldo, because I want Espeon to, like, live. Ha, it will. And now I should just be able to, um, knock out the Ludicolo. Actually, I don't think I will be able to. I think, well, it'll take two turns, and he'll probably do something to attack Espeon this turn. But at least we'll get him, you know, considerably down. Okay, Psychic, and Shadow Rush. Yeah. Oh well. Espeon had a good fight. Espeon's rarely died throughout this project. I think she's only fainted like four times. Quillfish! Now whatever water moves you do are good for us. I honestly don't understand how Quillfish is so strong. Like, Quillfish is like a beast. It's not even funny. Stop using Rain Dance. I'm pretty sure if Quillfish... Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure this is just gonna kill it right now. Yeah. And see, Mantine wouldn't do that, and I don't understand it. Well, that was easy. I'm an awesome dancer, but I can't win in battles. Dancing doesn't help in battles, actually. This just won't do, but I'll admit you beat, you've you beaten me thoroughly. Okay, since I'm done, I'll give you this. Here. The red ID badge. Think of that as a little gift from our great leader, Nascower. Don't leave without it, because you'll get nowhere. But, you know, maybe it'd be for your own good if you didn't go on. Phew, ho, ho, ho. Okay, so now we're going to go back, and then we're going to heal and save. 
I know what's gonna happen after this, so you're definitely gonna want to heal and save. Like, don't even mess around. Okay. And I'm also gonna buy more hyper potions, so I'm just gonna leave you guys right here for now, and I'll be back. Hey everybody, and yes, um, I have healed and saved and I have stocked up on items. I'll give you a summary of that quick, but we are going to continue this part tomorrow. And I'll explain everything why tomorrow, but we have 10 super potions and we have 15 hyper potions and 15 revives. And I think that's going to be all we need, to be honest. So, with that, I leave you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!